So I was planning to talk about one thing and I will get to that, but there's something else on my mind um, that I feel like I just kind of need to talk about. Ugh. I just lost one of my pets a few days ago. Uh, her name was Nikki. She is a rat. Um, she died of old age. She was about three and a half years, I think, which I didn't expect her to live that long and it's, pr it's, it's pretty old for a rat. Um, no, that's, that's my, that's my chocolate milk. When you adopt a pet, one of the things about it is you're committing to take care of that pet. If you're not willing to take care of the pet and see that their needs are met all the way from when you bring them home to their death unless you are just unable to and then you are willing to put them up for adoption. Uh, ensure that someone else takes care of them. Um, which that happens. It's, it's tragic but it, that happens. Part of adopting a pet is being willing to take care of them when they're dying and accepting the fact that you may have to make the decision in the end to to help them on their way it's so difficult to just say it outright make the decision to end their life we have so many euphemisms for death it's so difficult to just say it outright anyways i had rats when i was younger but back then um I mean, when I was a teenager, of course, I had a say in what happened to my pets, but it was ultimately my parents. It was ultimately my parents' responsibility. But then I became an adult, and <laughs> that is just a whole new level of responsibility of like, oh, okay, I can ask for their opinion. I can ask them, okay, this is what I'm planning to do. I'm not ready to put her down yet. I, I don't think it's time. But, am I making the wrong decision? Do you recommend? What, what do you think? I, I mean, it, I can ask, but it's ultimately my decision, which is... I guess I basically just wanted to say that, oh my gosh, adulting is hard. <laughs> adulting with and being responsible for little furry critters is hard. And there have been people in the past who told me that they loved pets that they loved rats, but they weren't going to adopt any more, but that, but that they weren't going to have any more rats because their lifespan is so short. I mean, Aniki died at about three and a half years, and that was old. But basically, for the past few years, but basically, I've had rats for a few years now. Um, I had them when I was younger, then there were a few years that I didn't have them and then I've had them again for a few more years and for the past few years I have just been watching them die either of illness or of old age every couple of years or every year I mean Aniki's younger sister died just a couple of days before Christmas so about nine months ago nine months yeah this is September now it's for years I never let their short lifespan put me off but I'm I, I think I finally said okay I've had enough I love rats I love them but at least for a while I think I need to stick to animals who are longer lived so I guess so I guess that's really what this is about is not just that adulting is hard but also uh, figure out what you can and can't deal with and at this point uh, dealing with having to make life and death decisions about pets which in, in this case with Aniki she basically died in her sleep which fortunately it, with Aniki, she died in her sleep, so I didn't have to make any decision about, okay, yeah, it's time to euthanize her. Um, and I have a really great vet who will just give me the facts, not try to persuade me either way, 
But when I have made the decision that, okay, it's, it's time to put the pet down, it's time to help them on their way, um, he would then reassure me that, yeah, if this were my pet, I, I would have made the same decision. Uh, or anyway, so far, he always has. <laughs> um, so how have I been dealing with this? Uh, for one thing, I have a friend who just got a chinchilla, and the chinchilla's cage is decent, but my rat cage is huge. So I'm gonna give uh, my cage, uh, so I'm giving the cage to my friend. Uh, so somehow that is oddly comforting. Uh, it's like, oh, at least I know who the cage is going to, and I. He's a very sweet, chinch he's a very sweet chinchilla named Robert Rodriguez. And I've also been remembering some of the videos I've seen uh, put out by, I can't remember her name, but she does the Ask a Mortician series, and I'll put links to the video or videos she did um, about pet death, which are kind of comforting. I guess this is really just me rambling, I didn't really have a plan when I started talking, just Ah, <laughs> this is hard. Then again, if you don't find it hard, you probably shouldn't have a pet. And to wrap this up on a slightly more cheerful note, I mean, I'm not being like, no, you shouldn't take your time to grieve. Uh, it's important, and if you don't allow yourself that, then you're... Uh... Suppressing pain doesn't work. It's going to come up one way or another. But if you just lost a pet, you may as well look back at funny stuff and remember the good stuff in the middle of morning. So there was something funny that Aniki and her sister, actually it may have been her sister, I can't remember, I will figure this out when I find the video, we're doing a while back, that I will put that, that I will insert that in here. It was kind of one of those odd things that I was like, what are you doing? <sighs> yeah. Rats. They're awesome. Though short-lived. If ever you need me there's a willow tree, it's air in the breeze, that's where